Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. It's me again, Faith, and today I want to talk about Um Sabelo. So I first came across Um Sabelo when I was 10 years old, and my brother got hit by a car and broke every bone in his body, figuratively. And my grandfather made him drink Um Sabelo to help him heal and recover quickly. So that was my first encounter with Um Sabelo. And the other day I saw that it's now been commercialized and sold in various forms. So with each form having a specific use. So I wanted to discuss the various forms of Um Sabelo and how they are used. So the first form, which is the most commonly occurring form, is the tonic. So umhlabelo tonic is sold as a concentrated drink. You can mix the umhlabelo tonic with water. So you take a spoon of umhlabelo and then mix it with a glass of water. And then you drink it. Most of the time I've seen people drinking the tonic after an accident or if they have like body pains or muscle spasms. So it helps with that. The second form is umhlabelo powder. The powder comes in two colors. It can be a white powder or a black powder. The powder can be mixed with either food or drinks and then consumed that way. So if it's the white powder, I've seen people mixing the white, the white powder with soup and then consuming it like that. And I've seen the black powder being mixed when making tea. So whenever you're brewing tea, you'll mix the black powder and then you'll drink it that way. I'm sure there are other ways of uh, consuming umhlabelo powder but those are the ways that I've seen people using the powder. The other form is umhlabelo salmonic block. So the salmonic block looks very similar to a camphor block, if you've ever used a camphor block. But the smell is quite different. The camphor block smells more like camphor and then the salmonic block smells like something completely different. So the block also can be black or white. If you go on one of the online stores that sells um Sabelo, the block, you will notice that they have the black one and the uh, white one. With um Sabelo, the block, you can mix it with other ingredients and then use it for ukfuta, uktoba, ukkeza, things like that. So I've seen people mixing it with uh, methylated spirit and then besiba tobangayo inyao. So if uneinyao is vuvugile or your feet are so you can put um sabelo salmon, salmonic block and then usanganse ne spirit and then besi so so ya tobage inyao. Lastly, um sabelo can be grounded so you can ground it into powder and then apply it directly on the wound. So if you have an open wound, you can just grate um sabelo and then take the grounded um, powder and then apply it on the wound directly. So um sabelo has many uses. Um, the most common use is to help strengthen and repair bones, especially after an accident. It reduces muscle cramps and spasms. It speeds up the healing process for open wounds, for sores. If you have an operation, you can also use umhlabelo. Uh, but speak to your doctor before doing this. Uh, if you also have broken bones, um, it helps speed up the healing process. I'm going to try and go back to making three minute videos because that's how we've evolved as a species.
we cannot pay attention to anything longer than a TikTok video. Oh, that's the devolution of mankind. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like or dislike, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments or complaints, you can leave them in the comment section. Maybe Nizok Pendula was one. Thank you for listening and bye.